my friends are busy laughing at the bag and it's so distracting. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Um, people have been asking, I think, for this video, and I just figured, uh, you know, why not? Let's do it now rather than later. I am doing like a whole mental health segment. Um, but this is my story, so um, everyone has been asking me, and I feel like. Also, at least now we're going to have a video that I can always refer you guys to, uh, should you guys have any questions. Um, so, uh, I suffer from depression, bipolar and anxiety. Uh, I was diagnosed in 2016, spent about three weeks in a psychiatric hospital in Akeso. It was a very... I don't know how to explain it. It was a very, it was an experience, man. It was, I feel like I can't, can't necessarily put it into words, but it was quite a, what is the word that I'm looking for? Yeah, enlightening, yes. That's the word I'm looking for, yes. It was a very enlightening um, process for me. And I feel, uh, you know, with that, um, I'm able to tackle a lot of the things that happen in my everyday life a lot better um, than I used to. Um, some days are better than others, um, some are not, but I really do try. Oh. I think I've always known it. I think I've always known that um, I don't want to say there's something wrong with me because there's people that have uh, mental health problems, there's nothing wrong with you. Um, you're fine. You, you just you just need more you just need more care than other people if that makes any sense but I think it's just something I've always known especially like throughout um, my high school life I always knew that mm, something's up uh, yeah so then 2016 I was able to speak to my mom I told her that I wanted to see um, a psychologist because I don't feel too well um, I feel like I probably need um, professional help um and lucky for me my mother was very supportive of that um went to go see a psychologist i think for a while i mean for i think for a good two three weeks and then after that uh, my psychologist then suggested uh that um i get booked into a psychiatric hospital because it's going to help me and i figured whoa 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 whoa, whoa. everything seems to be moving um too fast i'm on holiday but i'm about to go back to work so what do you mean i need to get booked in like it just uh, yeah it was just it was just a lot but i figured you know what why not uh my health also does come first so i think i'd like to think that they would understand which they did they really did they were very 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 supportive um scandal was yeah scandal was extremely supportive woman grace would come um, to the hospital to see me when she got the chance um, and even when I got back man even when I got back to work it was yeah it was it was a, it was weird being outside of hospital like after that whole experience but everyone is very supportive and nurturing and kind you know um, I always say guys always be kind to people because we don't know what demons people are facing anyways um, Got back home after that session with my psychologist, told her that uh, I need to get booked in, um, like as in tomorrow, tomorrow in I must, I guess we'll do. So that happened the following morning, um, my mom Pelezela went to the hospital, um, yeah, so yeah, bang admita, and it was just a ride, man, from there, um, you know, Gangshala uh, with the what are the kids going to be called uh, at Akeso Jabu? The yes, it's not the yes, the yes. 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 So <laughs> I was put into um, the yaps, uh, the yaps room. So they have like three, um, 
three, what is it? Three general programs like in the hospital, which is a general program for your general staff and then the DDU for, you know, your addiction and all of that. And then there's the YAPs, um, the kids that are younger than 18. But I wasn't younger than 18 at the time, but I just suppose I felt more comfortable being there because I was by myself. I, I don't know, I always just like uh, isolating myself sometimes. But uh, I think I stayed there for like, a week or two then after that i moved into a room with um Unon Jabulo, and then we stayed there to like till we left basically uh but yeah i stayed there um my doctor my psychiatrist put me on medication um i was on antidepressants um some xanax for my uh for my anxiety um I'd have appetite pills because I also struggled eating and sleeping tablets because I also struggled with insomnia. Um, um, and I don't know, man, for me, those pills, I don't know, it, it was a... I can't necessarily explain it, but it's just like a, everything is just, you know, and when you're happy, you're like extremely happy. And then when it's like a low, it's like a real crappy ass low but you know the the pills would kind of help just align everything if that makes any sense right after the whole uh 21 day program got out of the hospital um and then i think i went back to work a week after if not two um because it's like uh, i need also a distraction just being at home is yeah too much for me <laughs> not knowing that would yeah being back at work was it was weird man it was really really weird being outside um being outside of hospital because in hospital you're there right and you just feel like everyone gets it like everyone understands no one is going to judge you because you are depressed no one is going to judge you because you have anxiety or there's an addiction that you are suffering from or you know whatever the case is um but when you get outside it's just it's a whole different energy and and i felt that and it was overwhelming for me um it was quite overwhelming i'd find myself just breaking down like in between scenes when i'm working i'm just like oh what the hell is going on and whatever but you know i take my uh, mood stabilizers and it, i just but i just i did also i i didn't like the fact that i was not in control of my own emotions. I genuinely did not like the fact that I had to depend on uh, poles to keep me alive. It's just weird for me. Um, which uh, then I chose to. My kids were to my egg. My egg on a I think it's been. I think yeah, it was a few months after I I did got discharged. Um, I didn't necessarily uh, consult with my doctor. Whatever you decide, guys, please always consult with your daughter. I was just me being me. Uh, but I just figured, you know what? Mm -mm, I'm not, no, 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 no. I'm not having it. I want to be in control of my life. Um, it's obviously, it's a process. Uh, it's gonna take time. I'm not gonna get better like overnight. And, you know, I shouldn't be too hard on myself. So, you know, that's what I did. And it was a process. And like I said, even now, uh, there are better days, um, you know, there are better days, there are really crappy days, uh, but I really do try just, you know, always come down. I have, you know, coping mechanisms that I always utilize, you know, when I'm feeling a certain way or, you know. Yeah, but basically that's, yeah, that's, yeah, going to see a psychologist is basically how um, I discovered that I actually have mental health, although I didn't know. Uh, we would see um, I am, suff I might be suffering from, you know, uh, and then yeah, and then I was diagnosed in 2016. Um, I think for me, I was okay. I think for me it was I knew I needed help. I knew I knew I needed help, and uh, my emotions, I suppose, were big on me, and that's why I needed professional help and whatever. And maybe getting a professional to kind of explain uh, these emotions, and you know all these things that are happening in my body and my brain and all of that they they'll be able to explain it a lot better but for me it was fine uh i yeah my friends my friends were supportive um my friends are very very supportive uh yeah and my family too although like we didn't tell like my whole family it was just like 
my family that just knew and I suppose my family found out. Yeah, super as bubble TV guys, because Yonki into ya just gets um just gets on the papers and whatever. I remember when I spoke out it was what was it my twenty first? Friend was my twenty first, ne? Think so. I think it was my twenty first. Um when I spoke out about how like a year ago I had just spent uh, you know, that year in, in hospital and whatever and just suffering, you know, and then obviously tabloids drama but you know obviously that ended up in the papers and you know my other family just started asking what's going on what's going on it's just like relax relax like everything is is under control there's nothing wrong with me because i think there's this perception we would see people that suffer like from mental illnesses but and I don't understand like where that thing comes from. I don't understand where the stigma stigma comes from like in our community. Um tennis squads with school men is in danger and I and I feel like if we were able to create we're able to create better and safer spaces <laughs> um, you know, for us it would be a lot easier to deal with a lot of things and maybe sometimes things might not you might not even end up in a depressive state because you have a safe space to kind of talk and vent out without having been judged or you know whatever the case is um i think we need to understand that there's nothing wrong with you there's nothing wrong with the fact that you're suffering from depression the fact that you know your anxiety peaks the fact that you know you have weird coping mechanisms where I pull that to get over things you smoking drugs don't smoke drugs don't don't do drugs kids like don't do drugs it's not things I condone but you know we all have ways of coping I suppose with our own things but I really just want us to know that there's nothing wrong there's nothing wrong with you there's truly truly nothing wrong um, these things happen and I think we fundisa um, rather than having to judge a situation would probably help um, anyways um, yeah just knowing and understanding that there's nothing wrong with you just because you're suffering from whatever it is that you're suffering from and also knowing that it's okay for you to seek help whether it is professional help whether it is through a friend that you trust or even a random person that you don't know on social media that's open to speaking to you and just listening to you it's okay like it's okay um always allow people to to help you as well but also most importantly just there's nothing wrong with you i feel a lot of the times like we beat ourselves up and you shouldn't you really shouldn't because there's nothing wrong there's nothing wrong we just we just need an extra little care. That's really all it, all it is. Like you just need some extra TLC. Um, you know, you, you're not a, there's no loose screw over there or you're fine. It's just a chemical imbalance in your brain and it's okay. It's really okay. These things happen. It's just, it's always better obviously if you go to a professional because it's a lot easier for them to explain it to you than it would be for me to explain it to you because also I have an own understand I have my own understanding of my depression I have my own understanding of um, my bipolar and um, my anxiety um, and also my illnesses stem other little things that might not stem with you so that's what I'm always saying like always seek professional help I, I will always say this like disclaimer like I'm not a professional but I'm always willing to listen and give advice where I can. So um, in moments where you feel like you want professional help and you know professional help is scarce or you don't have money, um, there are I think there are there are programs um, there are programs that uh, give help. Uh, Okay, was call okay. Um, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just ask my manager, and I will. I promise I will put it down in the description box, and then you guys will just click on the link and go through it. But I also remember my events last year. One of the psychologists that I had spoken to, Usisunabile, uh, she was like, "There are programs that uh, 
like off a psychologist then you don't have to pay so i'm gonna just check that for you guys and i will put it down in the description box and please guys utilize it utilize it utilize it um if it is something that is uh you know it's on the line in our way uh seek that help um you know uh, a number of suicides manini that happen and rather signal demand you know let's seek help and let's utilize the help that we get so that we become better versions of of ourselves i think it's a whole lot of things man that cause mental health um loss there's a number of things man you know ngashonumuntu your parents separating um your dog dying uh, <laughs> uh yeah it's a number of things it's a number of things and i don't think also we should um judge people on their experiences you know just because someone lost a dog uh, doesn't mean that they won't get depressed like we we don't know what what triggers you know what what triggers are triggered like in them so yeah man it's different things it really is different things um yeah so yeah guys um that is all on my story i know it's not anything lengthy but um that's basically uh you know my mental health story and why i chose to become a mental health health activist why i want to create safe spaces um for us i really want to create safe spaces for us i want us to be able to talk and you know ukuleke ukuleke moyeni um yeah um i am starting uh like little hikes i'm gonna have like hikes but i'll always like let you guys know in advance a uh, little hikes we will go hiking a little bit of yoga after the hike um it also helps with the with the mental so you know i'll let you guys know we're obviously having silent crisis again this year probably in june or july but i'll obviously let you guys know about that as well um But I think yeah that's that's all like I said I'll put everything in the description box everything that you need to know um utilize it guys please 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 utilize it um yeah it's very 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 important I'm a psychologist I have these available so if you can get someone you know professional help that won't uh, I guess a cookie set that is amazing so yeah we'll utilize the lossy so so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was um I hope it moved you in some way and I hope it I hope it changes your life somehow. Um I hope it makes you want to step out of your comfort zone and I hope it makes you want to talk more and express more. Um I hope it makes you want to create safe spaces for others as well. Um cuz it's going to take time and it's going to take time one step at a time um yeah just a step at a time but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video um don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video